we're gonna save the collector booster for last because that's exciting Ooh, it's my last collector booster i already opened the exelon one and the commander masters one neither of them were very exciting didn't have much in there so we're gonna set that off to the side uh we got seven lord of the rings set packs we got a dusk Morn, a new capenna three march of the machine aftermath and an ixalan so let's start with march of the machine because it's persistently upsetting give it a chance to redeem itself we got a bunch of them we got three of them so got a couple chances here Let's see. Is, is is my audio even working? Talking to myself here. Okay, good. It is. Let's see what we get in this one. Death Rattle Oni. Feast of the Victorious Dead. Kiora. Sovereign of the Deep. It's a mythic, at least. I haven't seen that one. Colagon Warmonger. And Campus Renovation. Actually, I have this. No. I just took that out of my deck and a knight token. Just took that out of my deck, so that one doesn't matter. Golagon Warmonger. 332 haste. Attacks. Look at the top six cards of your library. Maybe reveal a dragon card from among them. Put it in your hand. Put the rest on your bottom. Okay. Kiora. 4 5. Vigilance Ward 3. Okay. Whenever you cast a Kraken, Leviathan, Octopus, or Serpent spell from your hand, look at the top X cards of your library where X is that spell's mana value. You may cast a spell with mana value less than X from among them without paying its mana cost. Ooh. Okay. That's not too bad. I actually wanted to make a little Merfolk deck. Why, I don't know why this doesn't say Merfolk. Kraken, Leviathan, Octopus, or Serpent. But it's a Merfolk. I wanted to make a little goofy Merfolk deck, and that could have been cool. I guess it could still could still work. All right, we'll set those to the side. We'll, we'll go through a couple more other boosters before we get back to March of the Machine. Um, I want to do Ixalan, you know? I haven't done... I did the Ixalan Collector. I haven't done Ixalan itself. I haven't, I haven't ever done Ixalan set. So let's check this out and see if we get anything special in here. I got counters? That's cool. Or... I don't know if I've seen this before in a set pack. In a cool little dinosaur art card. Yeah, Dandelion's excited. Galta. Oh, it's a Galta art card. All right. All right. Hidden Courtyard. Enters tapped, and it has Discover 4. Little Merfolk Scout. 3 1 Vigilance, Explores, Miner's Guide Wing, a 1 1 with a 1 1 with Flying and Vigilance, and Target Creature Explores. That seems like a lot of value for one mana. Rumbling Rock Slide deals damage equal damage to target creature equal to number of lands you control. Cartographer's Companion, 2 1, creates a map. Compass Gnome, 2-1, search your library for a basic land, put it into, oh, put it on top of the library. Okay. Dusk Rose Reliquary, sacrifice an artifact or a creature, ward 2, exile target artifact or creature and opponent controls until Dusk Rose Reliquary leaves the battlefield. Interesting. Ward 2 as well. Bloodthorn Flail. Plus two plus one. Equip is pay three or discard. Hurl. Hurl into history. Counter target artifact or creature spell. Discover X where it says spells mana value. Cost five though. Inverted iceberg. Mill a card, then draw a card. Craft with artifacts to flip it into a six six, which is iceberg titan. Tap or untap. Tap or untap target creature. A rare Kutzel's Flanker 3-1 three, 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 with Flash. When it enters, put a plus one, plus one on Kutzel's Flanker for each creature that left the battlefield. Gain two life in Scry 2 or exile target player's graveyard. And what's behind door number one? A common foil. Well, that's disappointing. Kutzel's Flanker. I don't think that's I don't think that's what we were looking for there. 
basking capybara. It's cute, even though it sucks. It was an art card, at least. Cool looking art card. And some tokens. All right, what's next? Let's do Nuka Penna. Don't think I've ever opened a Nuka Penna set booster either. This one's in Japan. So let's move things around. All right, one, two, three, four. We got a little art card there. Oh, I think I probably took too many cards out, but that's okay. A mini game card, an art card of Fabine. Fabine, tell me, tell me about your mother. Join the Maestros. Join the Maestros. Casualty two. Create a four three black ogre warrior creature for five mana. <laughs> Slip out the back. Yeah, that's crazy. Slip out the back, put plus one, plus one counter on target creature, phases out. Uh, public enemy, chant creature, all creatures attack, enchanted creatures control each combat if able. Whoa. Cool. It's like a permanent goad. A little chat. Two mana, casualty one. Look at the top two cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, the other on the bottom of your library. Broker's Charm. Choose one target creature you control gets plus one plus zero till end of turn. Deals damage equal to its power to target creature. Planeswalker and opponent controls. Destroy target enchantment or draw two cards. Tramway Station. It looks cool at least. And it's tapped. Swamper Mountain. Tap Swamp, or mount, swamp and Mountain and two. Sacrifice the draw card. Man, that's an expensive draw. Rabble Rousing. How did I get... I must have done something wrong. I wasn't expecting to see a rare already. Rabble Rousing. Hideaway 5. Every attack with one of our creatures create that many 1-1 one, one green and white citizen creature tokens. Then if you control 10 or more creatures, you may play the XL card without paying its mana cost. Oh, a little mythic here. Uh, super cool looking mythic. So what's in the back of this here? Nothing? I, I, put, the, I put the comments in the back? Oh, I definitely did this wrong. Zayatora the Incinerator, a legendary demon dragon with 6-6 six, six flying. At the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice another creature. When you do Zayatora the Incinerator, deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target, and you create three treasure tokens. That's kind of cool. Look at the art on this. Super cool art. It's like some alternate Nuka Penna frame, and it's a foil, but... Only on the frame? I don't know. That's a that's a cool looking card. Foil Island. Ready to rumble. Body dropper. Girder goons. Well, I was trying to make this the last card, but did not do that successfully. Rabble Rousing and Zayatora the Incinerator. Not familiar with Zayatora the Incinerator. Let me look it up and see. Well, I'm all I'm all blurry. Let me look it up and see if anybody likes this card. Unblur me. Unblur me. There we go. I've never seen this uh, treatment before. No. This card's not worth anything. Oh, with this foil, it actually is. <laughs> so with this foil, it's worth $7. I guess just because this is uncommon. The actual card is like $0.40. Cents. Uh, but this weird treatment of it is worth more. And then I guess there's a, a treatment of this where it's like all black. And that one's worth like 30 bucks. Anyways, it's worth a couple bucks. It seems like an interesting card. Beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice another creature. Deals damage to that equal to that creature's power to any target. And you create three treasure tokens. It's nice that it's a May. Kind of annoying if you had to sacrifice a creature. I will I will keep you safe, you special weird card. And then Rabble Rousing is probably nothing amazing. Let's do a let's do a Lord of the Rings pack and see if we can have this set start treating us nicely. We'll do a couple Lord of the Rings packs, Duskmorn, another uh after the aftermath. 
And then a couple more Lord of the Rings. Another Aftermath. <clears throat> and then Wilds of Eldraine. Gore bag. Gore bag. 2-2 two, two, Orc Soldier. Whenever a Goblin or Orc you control deals damage to a player. You may sacrifice it when you do. Choose one, draw a card, or create a treasure token. Saruman's Trickery. Little counter with a mass on it. Saruman the White. 4-4 four, four, Ward 2. Maybe you cast a second spell each turn, a mass Orcs 2. Oath of the Grey Host. You and target opponent each create a food token. Each opponent loses 3 life. Create a treasure token. Create three tapped 1-1 one, one white spirit creature tokens with flying. It's kind of cool. Bill Fernie. 2-1 to create a treasure token when it becomes blocked. Or target opponent gains control of target horse you control. <laughs> Bill. Swarming of Moria. Create a treasure token and amass orcs too. War Beast of Gorgoroth. Whenever War Beast of Gorgoroth or another creature you control with power 4 or greater dies, amass orcs too. Surrounded by orcs. Mass orcs 3, then target player mills X cards, where X is the amassed army's power. It's kind of good. I like mill. I like mill. I'm trying to put together a Saruman deck with mill. All right, Fuller Art Island. My little token card with Aragorn. And nothing on the other side. A uh, Goblin Fire Leaper for the foil. When it dies, it deals damage equal to its power to target creature and opponent controls. Forge Anew. When it enters the battlefield, return target equipment card from your graveyard to the battlefield. As long as it's your turn, you may activate equipment ability. Activate equip abilities anytime you cast an instant. You may pay zero rather than pay the equip cost the first equip ability you activate during each of your turns. And Rosie Cotton. That's how I feel, Rosie. Ah, why? Rosie Cotton is the is the full art. Rosie's laughing in my face because that was not it. Let's do one more here, and then we can do a dust dust worm. These packs are still giving me problems. <laughs> Literally can't open these things. It's a sign. They're telling me. This is not it's not the box for you. Mary, Esquire of Rohan. Alright, this music's going a little too crazy for me. I'm gonna have to turn this off. Peregrine Took. Peregrine Took. Fool of a Took. Oh, his face looks really weird. Peregrine took if one or more tokens will be created under control. Those tokens plus an additional food token are created instead. Sacrifice three foods to draw a card. Gamely counter of kills. We've seen this boy a few times. Punching that orc in the face. Rising of the day. Creatures you control have haste. This is a different art than the one that I've seen a few times. Ah! Shadowfax. Shadowfax, Lord of Horses. Easterling Vanguard. When it dies, a mass orcs one. Haradrim Spearmaster. I'm throwing that thing. Huh. Roharim Lancer. Oh, saw something slip back there. Don't know what it was. Didn't look very good. Treason of Isengard. Put up to one target instant sorcery card from your graveyard on top of your library. And a mass orcs two. We got our. Beautiful island. The orc army token. Mirkwood bats. Womp, womp, womp. And. Schmeagle. A Schmeagle. Oh, Legolas, Master Archer. That's not too bad. A lot of these full arts have been not rare yet. Or so far. Okay. What is this called again? The black and green? Can't remember. Boros? No, that's red and white. Starts with a G, I think. Anyways, 4-2, beginning grand step. If a creature died in your control, ring tempts you. Whenever the ring tempts you, target opponent reveals cards to the top of their library until they reveal a land card. Put that card onto the battlefield tapped under your control and the rest into their graveyard. <laughs> I like this card. <laughs> oh, Golgari. It's called Golgari. I like this card, and I've been trying to make... 
I want to make a Golgari deck. So, you know what, Smeagol? You might, you might be my boy. Beginning of your end step, if a creature died under your control, the ring tempts you. Perfect. So just get a bunch of creatures out there and get them dying. Whenever the ring tempts you, target opponent reveals cards from top of their library until they reveal a land. And then I just get that land. Put that card onto the battlefield tapped under your control. I like it. And the rest into their graveyard. It's very, it's very green and it's very black. Get creatures into the graveyard. Get them killed. That's black. Take lands. You know, very green. Get those lands. All right, Legolas Master Archer. Three mana, one, four with reach. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Legolas, put a plus one, plus one counter on him. Whenever you cast a spell that targets a creature you don't control, Legolas deals damage equal to its power up to one target creature. All right, that's not the Legolas card we wanted. But it is a Legolas card. I think Smeagol was the cool card here. Probably neither of these are worth anything, but I think this would be a fun deck because I like lands. So I'm not super upset with that. Let's do another one of these March of the Machine and see... Can I change my luck? Can I get something not shit out of the March of the Machine epilogue boosters? Not gonna hold my breath. I would probably die. Filter out. Return all non-creature non-land permanents to their owner's hands. Uh, mm, it's not so not so good. Reckless handling. Search library for an artifact card. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. Shuffle and discard a card at random. Yeah, oh, for two mana. Eh, feels one mana maybe. If an artifact was discarded this way, Reckless Handling deals 2 damage to each opponent. I've not seen that Legolas pull. Yeah, it doesn't look doesn't look too good. I mean, it's like it's okay. It's not the it's not the one we want. Cool, Mr. Zendif. Appreciate that, dude. Enjoy your shower. I need to shower myself, actually. Karn, Legacy Reforged. This guy's worth a couple bucks. I think it's worth like 10 bucks. I have this one, not in this style, but uh, you know this can this can go okay in an artifact deck. Mister Karn, Legacy Reforged, five dollars. Cinco, I have this one already, with this alternate art. That one's like twelve, eleven, ten bucks, twelve bucks. This one's five bucks. That's not bad, considering what we've seen so far. Oh, we got a foil rare too. Training grounds. Hey, this is a good card, Training Grounds. That's not bad at all. A one-mana enchantment. Activate abilities of creatures you control. Cast two less, cost two less to activate. This effect can't reduce mana. In that cost to less than one mana. I wonder what Training Grounds is worth. Because it's a decent card. I don't know if it's worth any money. Training Grounds is worth two bucks. And in the foil, it's worth five bucks. So, hey. Uh, actually, two bucks, sorry. Still, not bad, not bad. So we'll put a we'll put some plastic on them. Training grounds, you're there. You uh you might find a home in my Saruman deck. It's possible. I don't know how many activated abilities I'm gonna have in there. Karn, five dollars. You get a top loader because you're worth five dollars. If I can if I can put you in there. All right. Well, that's like one of the best. March of the Machine Aftermath opens I've had so far. Shiny Training Grounds with the cool looking art. Shiny. And another Death Rattle Oni. And a token. Let's do Dusk Morn. This, this baby's coming in a little bit. Let's do a Dusk Morn. Let's go back to the Lord of the Rings. Do a couple more Lord of the Rings. Do Aftermath Epilogue again. A couple more Lord of the Rings. And then finally, this collector booster. Uh, Duskmorn is Japan, so we gotta do the shuffling here. A little shuffling around. Oh, didn't shuffle enough. Enduring curiosity. Okay. Well, there's a rare. Four mana, four, three with flash. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. When it dies, I think this is worth a couple bucks. Duskmorn has been really good to me. I've got a lot of money out of Duskmorn. Maybe I should have bought more Duskmorn. Enduring Curiosity. This is $5. And I already have one of them. <laughs> so this is my second one. All right. Well, there's something. Whoa, sliding off. Put that in a little... Put that in a little plastic. Five bucks. 
I got enough top loaders. I'll, I'll put in a top loader for five bucks. Look at this little cute, shiny kitty. He's a curious cat. He's doing biscuits on the book. All right, there's a cat. We got enchantment, greenhouse. Lands you control have tap one to add one mana of any color or tap to add mana of any color. Rickety gazebo. When you want the store, mill four cards, return up two permanent cards from among them to your hand. Fear of imposters. Look at that big boy. Flash, when it enters counter target spell, its controller manifests dread. Sawblade skin ripper. Spooky. Menace, 3 2. Sacrif to pay 2, sacrifice another creature or enchantment, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Beginning of your end step, if you sacrifice one or more permanents this turn, it deals that much damage to any target. Okay. Appendage Amalgam. That's disgusting. Flash with 3-2 uh, with Flash. When it attacks, surveil 1. Enter the Enigma. Target creature can't be, can't, block this, can't be blocked this turn. Draw a card. For 1 mana, that's not, that's not terrible for a little common. Bear Trap, little Flash. Pay 3 and tap. To Sacrifice deals 3 damage to target creature. Cryptid Inspector. 2-3 with Vigilance, whenever face down permanent controls, and whenever Crypt Inspector or another permanent control is turned face up, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Murder. Ah! Uh, destroy target creature for three mana. Grab the prize. As an additional cost, discard a card. Draw two cards. If the discarded card wasn't to land, deals two damage to each opponent. Possessed Goat. Discard a card. Three plus one plus encounters on a possessed goat, and it becomes a black demon. There's the Jolly Balloon Man art card. Oh, that'd be cool if we get a Jolly Balloon Man in here. That's a that's a cool little card. Turn inside out is the foil. And a land and rip spawn hunter. Human Survivor 4-4, four, four. beginning of your second main phase. If Rip Spawn Hunter is tapped, reveal the top X cards of your library where X is power. Put any number of creature and or vehicle cards with different powers from among them into your hand. Aw. It was about to be good, but it wasn't. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. If only it got him onto the battlefield, then I would be excited. Turn inside out looks pretty cool. Creature gets plus three, plus zero till the end of turn. When it dies, manifest dread. And strangle the cemetery. Enters tapped unless a player has 13 or less life. All right, well, Duskworn was okay with me to me on that one. Did get this little enduring curiosity. Let's keep going. We got set boosters to open. Set boosters. Come on, Lord of the Rings. Look at that. Look how cool that looks. I think that's the Saruman of Many Colors art. Because I have this card sitting. Yep, many colors. I have this card sitting to my to the side of me. Alright. Let's put these back here. Hopefully I did it right this time. Okay, I did. Prince Imrahil. We've seen him a few times. Strider Ranger of the North. Whenever a land enters, target creature gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. If it has four, power four, gains first strike. EON, Lady of Rohan. Beginning of combat, target creature of your choice gets first strike or vigilance till end of turn. If it's equipped, gets first strike and vigilance. Equip abilities. You activate, cost one less to activate. Got Gimli's Axe here. Gimli's Fury. He's beating somebody up on every card. Target creature gets plus three, plus two till end of turn. If it's a legendary, it also gets trample. Erebor Flamesmith. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, it deals one damage to each opponent. Brandywine Farmer. When it enters or leaves the battlefield, create a food token. Took Reaper. What? That is a scary... That's a scary little hobbit. When Took Reaper dies, the ring tempts you. Spooky. A land, a forest, the ring for the token, Faramir, 
is the foil. Four mana, three, three. If creature die, draw a card. In temps you, if you choose a creature other than Faramir, create a 1-1 one, one human soldier creature token. Born upon a wind. Two mana, instant, to draw a card. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you may cast spells this turn as though they had flash. Okay, that's not terrible. Not so sure about that one. Grey Havens. Cool looking full art land. When the Grey Havens enters, scry one, tap for a colorless, or tap to add one mana of any color among legendary creature cards in your graveyard. Interesting. The full art treatment looks super cool on that. I don't think that was it. I don't think that was what we're looking for. Come on, Lord of the Rings. We got four more to go today. We gotta we gotta see something a little hotter than that. Let's do another one. We'll do a Lord of the Rings. We'll do a March of the Machine Aftermath. Three more Lord of the Rings. And then Collector Booster. And then we outie. Come on, Lord of the Rings. Treat me better than that. What is this? What the hell's going on here? Whoa. Oh, mama. Goldberry, River Daughter. Sheesh. All right, Goldberry. Give me some good luck here. Give me some good luck, Goldberry. All right, Goth Mog. Gothmog, Morga Lieutenant. Mauhur. Seen this guy a few times. Book of Mazar Bool. A mass, a mass. Creatures get plus one plus zero on menace. Reprieve. Return the target spell and draw a card. Faramir. Hey, we just saw you in the foil treatment. Nimble Hobbit kicking that dude in the dick. Whenever it attacks, you may sacrifice a food or pay three. And when you do, tap target creature and opponent controls. East Farling Farmer. Create food. Creature get plus one, plus one for each food you control. Oh, that's kind of cool. East Mark Cavalier. Vigilance 2-2. Two, two. When it deals damage to an orc or a goblin, destroy it. A little swamp. Nindalf. Token. Rush the room as the foil. And ring going south. Ring tempts you. Reveal cards to top your library until you reveal X land cards where X is the number of legendary creatures you control. Ooh, put those lands onto the battlefield tapped. And the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Interesting. Land. I like land cards. Okay, we'll come back to you. Merkwood bats. Ah. So I have so many Merkwood bats. All right, Ringo South. Uh, you might be okay in certain decks. I wish I got this thing though. Big booty. All right, March of Machine Aftermath. Come on. The last one was actually pretty good. Do something like the last one, March of the Machine Aftermath. Do something like the last one. Animus might. <laughs> Death Rattle Oni. Got a million of both of these cards. Danitha. New Banalia's Light. Three mana, two, two with Vigilance, Trample, and Lifelink. Once during each of your turns, you may cast an aura or equipment spell from your graveyard. Okay. That's a, that's a cool card. That's not, that's not terrible. So that's pretty neat. Harnessed Snubhorn. Uncommon Foil. Fucking Death Rattle Oni again. Look at this. How is this an uncommon card? I have four of them that I've gotten just today. Absolutely bonkers. Whoa. Animus Might. All right. Well, that wasn't it either. Three more to go. And then Collector 
gingerbread man. Let's see it. Let's see it. Show me a ring. Show me something. Here's a, what's that, Shilob? Shilob. Shilob. Child of Un Ungoliant? I prefer the big booty maiden, but that's okay. All right. Fear fire foes. Damage can't be prevented. Foray of orcs. Amassed orcs. Deal damage. March from the Black Gate. Whenever an army you control attacks, amass orcs. That's kind of a cool enchantment, even though it's only uncommon. It's funny watching you open real cards and watching Yak open fake cards. <laughs> yes. Cards of all kinds. Gwai here, the Wind Lord. Cost two less cast. As long as you've drawn two or more cards this turn, flying vigilance. Other birds you control have vigilance. This turn scolding. Fool of a took. That's a weird looking Gandalf. But that's okay. Counter target creature spell with power or toughness two or less. Chance met elves. Whenever you scry, I put a plus one, plus one counter on Chance Met Elves. This ability, oh, this ability triggers only once each turn. Lame. Elven Farsight. Scry three, may reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature, draw a card. Bonk on the head. Lothorian, Lothlorian Lookout. Whenever Lothlorian Lookout attacks, scry one. It's a one, three. I'm not sure how much he's going to be attacking. All right, we got a mountain. Oh, something shiny back there. What's going on back there? Shiny, shiny. What's 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 the shiny? Is a treasure token? What's the shiny? Shiny, shiny, shiny. Oh, Shire Sheriff. <laughs> spiteful banditry. When spiteful banditry enters, it deals X damage to each creature. Whenever one or more creatures your opponents control die, you create. A treasure token. Ooh. Oh, this ability triggers only once each turn. I mean, the fact that it's an enchantment, I thought it was a sorcery. The fact that it's an enchantment means this is kind of cool. I thought it was a sorcery. You could like kill everything on the board and make a bunch of treasure. But hey, that's okay. That's not bad. Nasty end. Two full art cards that I've got like three copies of. But spiteful banditry. I mean, you know, that could be okay. When it enters, it deals X damage. So you can wipe the board with it if you want. And then whenever one or more creatures your opponents control die, you create a treasure token, but only once per turn. So if you wipe the board, you get one treasure. But then going forward, you could get more treasure. Maybe. Come on, Mr. Pack. Ooh, I like this one. It's signed. A hobbit eating food. Perfect. Who is this hobbit? Mary! Hello, Mary. Signed by Vico. Pull the one ring already. <laughs> We're getting low, buddy. I'm not sure if that's coming in this box. Legolas counter of kills. We've seen that a bunch of times. You cannot pass. We've seen that a bunch of times. I think I have eight more packs that I'm going to save for another stream. And then a couple other packs. And we'll do all those in the next stream. Lost to Legend. Put target in online historic permanent in its owner's library fourth from the top. A Grima. But it's like a different version of Grima from the one that you usually play. Three mana, one, four. Your opponents can't gain life. Ooh, that's always annoying. Sacrifice another creature. Target player loses one life. If the sacrifice creature was legendary, amass orcs too. Ooh. Loth Lo Lothlorian. Lorian revealed. I don't know what's going on there. Just like sucking the essence out of those guys' head. Draw three cards with island cycling. Galadrahim. Galadrim. Guide. When it enters the battlefield, scry two. Galadrim. Bow. Has flash, attach target creature, untap that creature. It's plus one, plus two, has reach. That's That doesn't seem terrible for a common. I guess it's kind of expensive, but 
flash, untap, give it reach, give it uh, fucking damage. That's, that seems seems pretty cool. Shower of arrows, destroy target artifact, enchantment or creature with or creature with flying. Let's cry one. There's a mountain. There's the misty mountains. Token, Aragorn. Hello, Aragorn. Foil, Ant Drought Basin. Not what we're looking for. Rare. Hey, the Balrog. It looks cool. I don't think this is worth anything. I'm, I don't think it's actually a good card, but it looks cool. Cost one less cast for each permanent sacrificed this turn. Haste. Can't be blocked except by legendary creatures. Oh, that's kind of nasty. When it dies, destroy target artifact or creature and opponent controls. I mean, that's that doesn't seem terrible. The, the cost is really high. I don't know how you sacrifice a bunch of creatures to get it out. Looks cool as hell, though. He's about to smash on Gandalf. All right, and the last one here. Oh, okay. Frodo. I think this is the one that comes with the, uh, the pre-cons, right? It's like one of the promo cards. Mythic Frodo, Adventurer's Hobbit, 1-3, partner with Sam, loyal attendant, vigilance. Whenever Frodo Adventures Hobbit attacks, if you gain three more life this turn, the ring tempts you. Then, if Frodo's your ring bearer and the ring has tempted you two or more times, draw a card. Pretty cool. There he is. He's got the ring around his neck. I assume that's the ring he's holding on his necklace. Cool boy. Well, a mythic and a rare. I mean, you know, I don't know how, how good either of them are, but, you know, you can't complain too much on that. I'm happy when I'm getting mythics and rares. Okay, we got two left. One more set booster, and then a shiny, shiny collector booster of Graham Cracker proportions. Elijah Wood won't like this one. Poor Elijah. Come on. There we go. Come on. Last of the day. We got... I think we have eight left after this, and this is the last of the day, so... Let's see some something magical here. Look at that cool skull, whatever the fuck that is. What is this card? Pippin. Pippin. I do not associate this cool stuff with Pippin. Usually when I think of Pippin, it's like just a side character that does nothing. Running around, being crazy. Looks like we have a list card in this one, potentially. Lorith of the Healing House. Three mana, one four. Tap to untap another target permanent. That's usually pretty cool. Or tap to untap two other target legendary creatures. That seems like a decent uncommon. That seems decent. You could do some shenanigans with untapping permanents, untapping legendary creatures. Eomer of the Ritter Mark. Five four with haste. Create 1-1 one, one if you have... If you control a creature with the greatest power. Create tokens. Urken Brand, Lord of Westfold. 3-3, three, three, whenever it or another human enters a battlefield under your control, creatures you control get plus one, plus zero. The other human part is kind of cool. Hey, Wizard's Rockets. I haven't seen this card before. Wizard's Rockets enters the battlefield tapped. Spend X and tap Wizard's Rockets to add X mana in any combination of colors. When it's put into a graveyard from the battlefield, draw a card. Eh, I can see why that's not special. Ants Fury? What is going on in this picture? It's biting... What the hell is that thing? Looks like a giant slug? Put a plus one plus encounter on target creature control if its power is four or greater. Then that creature gets a plus one plus one until the end of turn and fights target creature you don't control. Not a very good card. The art is just weird as hell. Look, he's like biting that thing. Rawr. Great Hall of the Citadel. Looks like a troll. Yeah, it's definitely weird looking. All right, Shire Scare Scarecrow. Uh, Defender 03. Tap. Oh, pay one to add one mana of any color. Activate only once each turn. So it like transmutes your mana for you. Revive the Shire. Turn target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Womp womp. A full art forest with the Shire right in the middle. All right, I think we got a list card coming. Let's see what it is. Hopefully it's not a common. Imp's Taunt. Well, it is a common. 
Super old card, though. Buyback three. Target creature attacks this turn if able. That's kind of cool. You can see how old it is because the art is 97. Well, it has a copyright down here, too. I think that's Tempest. I don't know what set that is. Those big guys that pull the trebuchets up to the big city. Well, he's taking a bite out of his butt. Wizard's Rockets. Womp, womp. That's the foil. And the rare. Pippin. Pippi, Pippi. This is a different Pippin. Oh, no, this one's Mary, isn't it? No, it's Pippin. Guard of the Citadel. Wait, what the hell? Oh, this must, this must be like an alternate art or something. That's a much cooler art than the one that we got here. Legendary Halfling, two mana. Vigilance Ward 1. Tap another target creature you control gains protection from the card type of your choice until end of turn. Okay, well, I wish we got this one. This one looks much cooler. I don't know what that skeleton is, but that looks, looks sick. All right, and the last one here. <laughs> Pippin's Bravery. This was a Pippin pack. This, this was a Pippin pack. Pippi Pippi. All right, Pippin. Not too excited about you. Hopefully the Collector Booster can redeem us. Low Refresher so far. These are pretty much the biggest things. Nothing over a few bucks. Zayatora, I think, is like five, seven, six or seven. Karn is five. Training Grounds, I think, was a couple. Enduring Curiosity, I think, was five. I feel like that skeleton is holding Saruman's black orb. I think you're right. That's a link to Sauron. Super cool art. Honestly, this is the cool... I wish I could have gotten this art. Then I would have been stoked on the card. Even though the card's not, not that amazing. All right, Collector Boosty. Let's find out what we got in here. Fabrique in Japan. So let's... I think we take... I'm going to take... I'm going to take five cards to be safe. Because last time I took four on some other pack. And we... It was the, the, blue, the Duskmorn pack. We went straight to the rare. The last pack of the stream. Last pack magic. We're going to do five off the top. Two, three, four, five. First one's a token. So we know when we get to the token, we're somewhere. Oh, we get to the rare anyways. God damn it. Oh, well, but it's a collector pack. So I guess there's a bunch of rares in here. You can see how many collector packs I've opened. Very few. Two mana, Iron Crag. Legendary artifact, tap for colorless. Whenever a legendary creature enters the battlefield under control, you may have the Iron Crag become a legendary equipment artifact named Everflame Heroes Legacy. If you do, it gains equip three, and equipped creature gets plus three, plus three, and loses all other abilities. What? <clears throat> Why? Hmm. Okay. That's weird. I mean, it's two for tap for colorless, so something. It's foil. Hatching plans. I guess there are going to be a lot of foils. Again, it's a collector pack. <laughs> I've opened two collector packs, so. Hatching plans. When hatching plans put into a graveyard from the battlefield, draw three cards. Womp womp. Curiosity. Enchant creature. Whenever an enchant creature deals damage to an opponent, you may draw a card. A cool, shiny forest. Ashiox Reaper. Whenever enchantment you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, draw a card. Tenacious Tome Seeker. 3 2 with bargain. You can sacrifice an, an artifact enchantment or token. When Tenacious Tome Seeker enters the battlefield, if it was bargained, return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. He's reading that book. That book. Ariette's Tempting Apple. When Ariat's Tempting Apple enters the battlefield, gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature, gains haste until end of turn. You can pay two and tap it to sacrifice it to gain three life. You can pay two and tap it to sacrifice it and deal three damage to an opponent. Or technically, they lose life. Cool. Not so good, but still pretty cool. Which is Mark. She's massaging this weird mask. She's putting a weird mask on somebody's face. You may discard a card. If you do, draw two cards. Create a wicked roll token attached to up to one target creature you control. Voracious Vermin. When Voracious Vermin enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one black rat creature token with this creature can't black block. Whenever another creature you control dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on Voracious Vermin. Interesting. 
Some of the cards that I got recently included a half half formed rat deck. So maybe I'll put that in there and have some fun. Titanic Growth, target creature gets plus four, plus four till end of turn. Prophetic Prism, a very crappy transmute land. A food token. And then let's see what we got in the special spots. The hopefully good spots here. Rest in peace. When it enters the battlefield, exile our graveyards. If a, if a Carter token we put into a graveyard from anywhere, exile it instead. There is an eyeball in that food. Delicious. Rest in piss. Oppression. I have both of these cards. And I think this is the last card. No, we got a couple more cards. I have both of these cards already. They're okay. Whenever a player casts a spell, that player discards a card. Elusive Otter. One mana, one, one with prowess. Creatures with power less than elusor, elusive otters power can't block it. Has a little adventure. Distribute X plus one plus one counters. Among any number of target creatures you control. And I think we got one card back here. Oh. Realm Scorcher Hellkite. Four, six with bargain, flying, and haste. When it enters the battlefield, if it was bargain, add four mana in any combination of colors. And you can pay two to deal one damage to any target. Well, I don't think that was it. You know what? I think that was not so good. I know these two are not worth much, and I already have them. This is a cute little otter, but I don't think it's worth much either. From Scorcher Hellkite, seems not great. But... But... Yeah, it's only 30 cents. But next time... But next time... Probably tomorrow. I'll do the rest of these. And I got eight more in here. So, probably tomorrow. Do those. For now, that's it. Un... Unimpressive. But... Basically, we got these. That's a little wompy wompy. All right. Thanks, boys. Boys and grills. I will catch you later. I'm going to go sort the rest of this bulk. This big pile of bulk. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later. Have a good Saturday. Bye.